Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the February 2024 Divine Feminine Monthly Collective Reading. This is where we take a look at the energies that the Divine Feminine Collective will be going through in the month. We take a look at uh, the themes and what may be helpful for her, what may be challenging for her this month and all that good stuff so as you know always watch for your inner masculine and feminine energies all of my readings to get additional layers of growth and learning so we're going to start off by pulling a major arcana theme for the divine feminine for february 2022 <laughs> the wheel of fortune i am not surprised this is coming out because i already did the relationship ship kit readings um, which is, have been released, by the way. Those are my three most popular types of relationship readings all bundled into one for the month in terms of the energies that might come up for a relationship. But So I have a little sneak peek of the energies coming in for February, and I just did the Divine Masculine reading. So here we have the Wheel of Fortune, things suddenly changing for the better. So um, before I say, oh, this is the minor that wants to come out, and we're getting the Four of Orbs, the Four of Swords. So what we have here is I'm getting a feeling almost as though like not an end to the healing, but I feel like an end to the isolation. An end to the loneliness. Wow, kind of got pulled into that card right there. So um, let's see get some more themes for the divine feminine but I feel like many people and again remember for your personal masculine and feminine energies right the the feminine is our intuitive side our nurturing side the side of us that receives and so if we have been feeling isolated from receiving or if we have been feeling alone many people are struggling with loneliness right now because they feel like they don't resonate with people around them anymore as they have gone through their ascension journey, they have grown, their vibration has shifted, their consciousness has shifted. And so therefore, the things that they used to enjoy, the people they used to enjoy hanging out with, um, they don't bring the same level of enjoyment or satisfaction any longer. And, it, and it's it can kind of be a very lonely place. Like you can be very lonely in a crowd of people that you just don't vibe with. And, and that's, I feel like, what's coming to an end for the Divine Feminine. So, um, and again, if you're one of these people that's struggling with loneliness, you know, connect as much as you can with those that understand. Sometimes that, that those types of communities are just even online to begin with. You know, many light workers and strong souls are positioned separate from each other on the planet because they're meant to be on different places of the grid to, to anchor the light and that means they can't all be gathered together at the same time but that's changing so just hang in there um, find community find um, those that you can connect with even if it's just online but they are out there we do exist i promise and if it means even just listening to videos that make you feel like you're understood and that you're not alone, please do whatever you can if you're still in this energy of the loneliness. But I do feel like that's coming to an end in the month of February. So big hug to you if you've been feeling a little bit isolated and lonely. So what else do we have here? The codes of the seeds, the blueprint is within you. Take the next step. I'm hearing there's going to be a lucky break um, this month. And by lucky break, I mean something's going to happen that's going to activate new codes deep within you to create, to birth new life. And when this comes in, you're, you're going to, it's going to be important to take the next step. But let me just read what this says here from the deck. It says, seeds come in knowing exactly what to do. Within them, they hold the potential of entire forests and rose gardens. Seeds have within them an intelligent timing that's connected with the intelligence of the cosmos. We are all seeds, future forests and gardens waiting to be born. We each hold the codes of a new humanity within us and change is our natural state. Seeds must be buried in the darkness before they can bloom into the light, and seeds can't even begin to bloom without embracing the fertile void of the winter soil. 
They can't flower without outgrowing the constraints of the bud. They can't bear fruit without releasing their beauty to the earth and letting go of the very thing about them that captivated others. This card delivers the message that within you, you have all that you need to create that what you're destined to create and to move through everything that life delivers and to navigate your way through any terrain. The blueprint has always been seated within. Trust that you have within you the codes for the most glorious rose garden waiting to bud and bloom. Trust those codes and remember that blueprint. All you need to do now is to take the next step and tomorrow take the next. And if you continue taking baby steps each day, on a day not too far from today, you'll look back and discover the most breathtaking garden of roses all around you. And then fruit will follow. Today, just take the next step. Just know what, you know what to do. The blueprint is encoded within you. Well, nothing like starting a reading with an extremely, extremely profound message. <laughs> um, I may not even have to continue the reading. I'm going to, but... Holy cow. One day at a time. You know what to do. It's coded within you because it is. So let's get another theme for the Divine Feminine. Again, it ties into the isolation and the loneliness that's now coming to an end. Ooh, we're getting the I Ching, which is about change. Yeah, things are shifting. You know, if you've been waiting for things to change, February is a month where things are going to change. It is bringing about change. It is bringing about growth. So let's see what else we have going on here. The eyes of, oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Oh my God. Okay, look how many cards are in this deck. Divine Masculine got the same card. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the Divine Masculine reading yet, but... Here you have it, the eyes of love. Focus your eyes on loving actions and your lips on loving words. Okay, I think it kind of speaks for itself. Whatever's going on, we are here to be the embodiment of divine love and light. And this translates not only energetically, but through the portals of the soul, which are the eyes, including the lips, which form the words that we speak to others in our communication. Okay, what is this? That fell to the ground. And then we're getting chemistry. There's strong magnetic attraction here. So the message for love is, again, you have magnetized this change to you. Just like the seed deep within the codes are in the blueprint that it's connected to the cosmos. Here it is. The cosmos is, is attracting your person to you or opportunity to you if you're watching this not for love. So I'm going to place these here and get some more messages on what's going to be uh, helpful. I'm also doing an extended. Um, in the extended, I always go more in depth on many layers throughout the month, the energies of what's going on in her physical world, how she's thinking, what she's feeling, what's going on for her spiritually, where her vulnerabilities will be this month, where her strengths will be, as well as the lessons she's learning. Um, that's going to be in the extended, but at the end of this vi video, if you're not going to the extended, I do leave you with some guidance for the month. So that will be towards the end. But what energies are supporting the Divine Feminine this month? Ah, the new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Show the world the real you, the full moon in Aquarius. And the end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn. See what I mean? It's been difficult. The healing, the isolation, the loneliness, the darkness. Things are changing. We've got a new beginning here because of all the work you've put in when you've had your time to yourself. If you've been hermiting, if you've been healing, if you've been going inward trying to maintain a sense of peace amongst all the craziness of the world. But what we have here is bookends on the Capricorn energy, the new moon and the full moon. And in between is the show the world, the real you. It's like, this is time for you to emerge divine feminine, just like this seed planted in the ground. It's time for you to emerge, to blossom, to begin to bloom. Um, very, very powerful. 
And this is what's being supported for the divine feminine is, is a difficult cycle is coming to an end. And this new beginning, you have earned it, divine feminine. You have earned this new start. There is a cycle that is now being born of growth, blossoming, and divinity. So this is what cosm cos cosmic energy, this, okay, I can speak, I promise. <laughs> These are the cosmic energies that are supporting you this month, Divine Feminine. So what energies could be challenging the Divine Feminine this month in February? I highly recommend watching the Divine Masculine reading as well for additional insights. As like I said, we are both expressions of masculine and feminine energies and so there are messages there that will resonate and guide you as well but the challenging is emotions are running high the super moon energy a lot of emotions a lot of releasing of emotions happening the new moon in pisces is a challenged energy that came out for the divine masculine as well but actually in the in what energy you're supporting him but the challenge also is having faith in your dreams. So again, um, if you've been in isolation, you don't see like how things are changing. Trust that they are. This may be difficult for you. You might be challenged in the feeling of like, I don't know if my dreams can come true. I don't know if I can have this beautiful garden of flowers. And Spirit is saying, I can. It takes time. It's time to think about what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. Thinking about, contemplating, going into meditation to connect to the feelings that are running really high. But what we have here is the challenges and the emotions this month. So if you've been feeling like this, sitting on the beach in the, the gray beach, kind of quiet by yourself, isolated in the, the shadow, it's like continue to trust that your dreams are on their way because they are. All right, so um, let's take a look at the, let's get the guidance for you, Divine Feminine. For those not going to the extended. So again, the relationship kit is available um, for the month for February. Also, January is still available if you're interested in that. Um, that's uh, The link is down below to, to get your hands on that if you would like. So let's um, get the guidance for you, Divine Feminine, for those of you not going over to the extended. What is the best guidance for the Divine Feminine for February 2022? Creativity. Wow. This is powerful. So what this is saying is don't be surprised if things manifest change in ways you don't even expect. If you don't see a path forward or a way that something could work out, know that the universe is ultimately extremely creative and it will orchestrate in perfect harmony, divine timing and um, all of that. That just because you can't see a way something could manifest the dreams just know that there's many different ways that it can this is about getting out of the box this is about getting out there and connecting to all the different possibilities we're also getting manifestation see because you've been doing this isolating and going inward healing you are getting your manifestation when you know, when your inner energy matches, when your inner energy aligns is when you manifest in the external world. But be aware that the, the manifestation might come in a way that you don't expect, a different way that, that you've never imagined. And lastly, for the Divine Feminine, the Rainbow Reviver, there it is again, 
focusing on your journey, your healing, your balance, and things are going to start looking up. The Wheel of Fortune, things are going to get revived. Things are going to become joyful, fun, creative. You are going to manifest a revival of your, of your journey. Wow, all right, so I can't wait to get over the extended. I'm gonna head over there now. And um, in the meantime, check out the Divine Masculine's reading for the month. And um, I have so many videos on this channel that um, if you are in need of guidance or support, go through old videos because they're all timeless. And many people are, are writing in about how a random video from four years ago that I did popped up and it's exactly what they're experiencing right now. And so just when it was, whenever it's recorded, it doesn't matter. It's when you find it and when the message reaches you. And I know a lot of people like new, new, new. However, the old stuff, I typically get information sometimes way ahead of time. Um, and so go check out a, some playlists if that's an easier way. Um, to go sort through or just search through some of the titles, maybe even some of the images on the videos that will call to you. All right, my beautiful friends, I'll see, see some of you in the extended. And until next time, bye.